Many, many moons ago, I made this video exposing Gabby Hanna. She's arguably the most controversial internet sensation we ever saw. If you remember correctly, Gabby Hanna was always in constant whirlwinds of social media scandals. Like, guys, she was literally transitioning from one scandal to another so effortlessly, you'd think she was made for this. One minute, she'd be at it with a fan, and then a friend, and then another influencer, then a stranger, then a family member, then a best friend, and it would go on and on. Anyways, if you've been on these social media streets long enough, you already know that it never ends well for such influencers. It was only a matter of time before Gabby Hanna was knocked down. I guess she could no longer escape the consequences of her actions, with many followers and fans questioning her actions. If you, like me, have been wondering what she's been up to lately, this babe destroyed her career. Let's rewind and start from the very beginning. You see, before curtains fell on Gabby Hanna, she was the shining star of the Vine app. If you don't know Vine, this was the TikTok of social media back in 2013, and when it crumbled, content creators like Gabby Hanna moved to YouTube. On YouTube, Gabby Hanna went ahead and built an equally solid and vibrant following through her channel, and she became known for sharing relatable, often humorous stories from her own life, capturing the attention of millions of viewers. Her videos often revolve around topics like relationships, experiences, and challenges presented engagingly and authentically. YouTube did work for her. Her channel even gained over 5 million subscribers. How Gabby Hanna went from being everyone's sweetheart to the most hated influencer is quite crazy if you ask me. She got into too many dramas, including her ugly feud with David Dobrik and his friends. Do you remember how things got heated up between her and her old squad, aka the vlog squad? They used to film vlogs every Every single day until Gabby Hanna moved out of the vlog squad house. No one knew why she left, but some people took it as an opportune moment to insult her for allegedly being at the center of Liza Koshy and David Dobrik's breakup. Other fans came to her defense by calling out the squad for harassing her on multiple occasions. Your makeup's all up. Really? Uh, Look it off. That's not her makeup, that's just her face. Oh, you're right. She ugly. The beauty aisle. Gabby, have you ever been in there? Probably not. We wanted to do a little secret Santa since we're all going home for the holidays. I got a gift and I got it for Gabby. Wait, it's something I've needed? You definitely needed it. We've all kind of talked about it. Are these? Diet pills? Oh my god. But that wasn't even the tip of the iceberg. The drama between Gabby Hanna and Trisha Paytas, girl. The internet was on fire for a hot minute. It was years upon years of beef, you guys, and we could literally make a series for just this. So apparently Gabby Hanna summoned enough boldness to walk up to Trisha's boyfriend to warn him that Trisha might be having herpes and that he shouldn't be intimate with her. These two dragged each other for years, and y'all wouldn't believe how low these 30-year-old influencers were willing to go. Have we slept together? Did I show you my STD results? Are you my doctor? Did you swab my bitch? You'd be forgiven to believe that by this point, Gabby Hanna would think twice about her online altercations and chill, right? See, people always felt the need to bully Gabby for having a big nose. While she has addressed this issue several times, saying she's comfortable with it, some sad people just cannot let it go. They've bullied her to the point of making memes. September 6, 2017, Gabby Hanna decided that her creative juices were too underutilized, so she dropped us a hit. Yes, we all woke up one day, and not only was she a YouTuber, YouTuber, but Gabby Hanna had also recorded a whole song titled Out Loud. And once again, the internet was divided. Some people felt she sang pretty okay, but others had a field day mocking her voice. And there she was, trending again for months. In all honesty, I can see why some people felt she was screaming and not singing. Maybe I'm the monster. And since she thrived in controversy, she went right ahead and released more and more songs. Despite her song Monster becoming a viral meme, it actually did pretty well. And at this point, we got to applaud Gabby's resilience because no amount of hate from fans would stop her from dropping more hits. Well, let's just say music was one of her passions for real. Gabby couldn't seem to catch a break. After being on the receiving end over her music, people then shifted to her complexion. She was being accused of blackfishing multiple times, even after explaining that she wasn't all white and that she was from the Middle East, mean comments kept coming her way. Guess who's back? Guess who's black? 
Guess who's trying to be black? White people don't even be looking white. At this point, can we all agree that Gabby Hanna has seven lives? Can you imagine that after receiving all this backlash when she released a song, she still had more content for us? Yep. She did it again. But she didn't release a song this time. In September 19th, 2017, Gabby Hanna decided to bless us with poetry. Guys, I am talking about Gabby releasing a collection of illustrated poetry called Adult Lessons. Her poetry wasn't too different from her songs. The themes revolved around mental health and the complexities of adulthood. It goes without saying that she received a generous dose of mockery for this one too. Anyways, I'll just read a few pages and let you be the judge. Time is relative. Beauty is relative. Family is relatives. I wear makeup because I have acne. I have acne because I wear makeup. I donated blood today. Feels good to finally be somebody's type. Sad is fied. IDK, I don't know, you know? I wonder what dying feels like. You too? I'll let you know when I find out. Oh. Wait, decline. I lost my credit card and the customer service woman asked me for my credit card number, but I don't know my credit card number because I lost my credit card. Now guys, I know at this point y'all are in a dizzy with all this Gabby drama, but trust me, things are about to take a scaringly overly dramatic turn. By this time, Gabby Hanna hadn't even unleashed her deadliest and deepest form of self-sabotage that a content creator can inflict on themselves. Also guys, if you felt some type of way regarding those poems, guess who doesn't care? Gabby. She released another collection in 2020 titled Dandelion. And am I the only one who felt the low-key cryptic messages behind her poems? If you did too, just hold that thought. We'll get back to it. Besides YouTube, Gabby Hanna also created a strong fan base on TikTok with almost 8 million followers. And this is where it all went down. After years and years of fighting everyone, in 2022, Gabby faced the worst of all her battles. She went to war with herself. She started by sharing messages like this. A few days after this post, Gabby would disappear from TikTok for a few days and then pop up and post several A Day in My Life videos. From that point on, things spiraled. Well, you see, Gabby's TikTok content was always about fun, dancing, music, and mental health. And in just three days, Gabby Hanna's reputation took a severe hit as she uploaded over 170 videos and displayed concern behavior. At first, she did several videos talking about God, how she can change the world, and children. You know, every time I say I'm gonna save the world, people laugh at me. Root for us. I'm fighting for we, our cross to bear. Don't you want to see? She went on and on talking about the need to save the homeless babies. Wake the f up before we go to sleep. Wake the f up. There's babies on the street! Gabby Hanna then got so engrossed in what seemed to be a manic episode that she scared her fans online. At some point, she started asking very strange questions like, what if I was the mother of God? What if I was the mother of God? What if I got to bring the good news of the second coming? She kept posting these disturbing videos every single minute, sometimes even crying. We could be the person save the world and then we can. Instead of laughing, why don't you pray with me? Why don't you encourage me? At some point, Gabby Hanna shocked fans when she started yelling hysterically, asking people to help her. Help me! Help me! Wake the f up! Help me! Help me! Gabby Hanna went on and on talking about anything and everything, and she did a record of over 160 videos within the next two days. She even claimed to have died, gone to heaven, and returned. The next minute, she was explaining the origin of her name. She said she was named after the biblical angel Gabriel. I am Gabrielle. Angel Gabriel. I am Hannah, Arabic translation, John. Three, three brothers of four took the name Gabriel. When fans kept suggesting that she really needed to talk to someone, she introduced her housekeeper to us. In one of her videos, she introduced her housekeeper, Delilah, who seemed to be used to Gabby being unstable. One minute, Gabby was praising her for saving her life, and the next second, she was yelling at her. Guys, at some point, Gabby went live on TikTok, and she had a lot to say about single parenting. She talked about fathers leaving women 
women to take care of their kids alone, and even this conversation ended religiously. She said these women made it through because they depended on God. And she had a message for people who are calling her manic. So people who actually don't give up about anyone but themselves, regardless of how hard they've been lying to themselves for a very long time, are so concerned for me because I'm manic, right? Considering that she had admitted in previous videos that she had bipolar, fans online were certain that she was having a meltdown and someone needed to be there to get her meds. The big question is, was help on the way? Guys, you haven't heard the plot twist yet. Gabby kept updating her fans online and at one point she mentioned letting a total stranger inside. Like, this is someone who might not be thinking straight. And when most people thought she was lying, she uploaded several videos of the said visitor introducing him as Nicholas. Guys, can you let a stranger into your home just because they need to use the bathroom urgently? Personally, I would never. But that's just me. Gabby Hanna is cool with it. They actually seemed to get along very well. Gabby Hanna and Nicholas were even planning to go for a run. Gabby later changed her mind and threw him out. And up till now, no one knows Nicholas's actual intentions. But he got a few seconds of fame because shortly after leaving Gabby Hanna's house, he started going live on TikTok, answering people's questions regarding her status. Most people disapproved of this, also considering that it was a man, but Gabby said that once she had posted his face online, there was no way this stranger would harm her. I'd say Gabby was being too erratic at this point. And this wasn't the only stranger she welcomed in. She later mentioned letting another girl in because she seemed hurt. Gabby said she felt the need to help her because the bruised lady looked like the ghost of a dead person who was struggling to cross over to the other world. Then there was another man who pulled up at her place with two dogs and he said he had seen the situation online and chose to help. Guys, remember these are people Gabby Hanna had never seen before. According to her, of all three strangers, she felt safest around the guy with the dogs. She said it was quite unfortunate that he didn't manage to get inside. Gabby Hanna then announced that someone had broken into her house asking fans to pray for her. Then she went offline for a couple of hours and turned Turns out her neighbors heard her screams and called the police. They evaluated her and found her fit to just be at home. When she came back to her senses, Gabby Hanna confirmed what many had feared. She had suffered a mania attack. She did pull down most of the videos she had posted and had a lot of explanations to do and apologies to make. Remember when I told you I felt some type of way concerning her poetry? It finally made sense. Even her song's lyrics made so much sense after her almost 72 hour meltdown. Could it be that Gabby Hanna talked so much about mental health because she was dealing with it? Was it her coping mechanism? And all these online wars, were they a cry for help? You see, during her prime in social media, Gabby Hanna literally had the gasoline and the match in her own hands, but she still blamed everybody else for lighting the fire. After this last major mental breakdown, it looks like she is taking a break. There have been zero engagements across all of her online platforms. She hasn't posted anything on YouTube for 10 months. Her last tweet was in January 2023, and that's the same situation on her Instagram and TikTok as well. Guys, do you remember the days where Gabby Hanna ran the streets? Please let me know in the comment section.